Rolling? Okay. Can can I can I work? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this video real quick. I'll be right back. How we do an artichoke? Okie dokie artichokey. Oh god. Good morning. I am going to be doing a what I eat in a day video for you guys. I've done these types of videos before and you guys really liked them, so I'm really excited to be doing another one today. I'm just gonna walk you through breakfast, lunch, and dinner, kind of just what I've been eating recently. I go through phases of different foods that I like to put together, and so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm loving lately. So what I've done first here is I've made coffee because that is, as we know, the first thing that I like to do in the morning. After I've had a good amount of caffeine, Hendrix is making noises. After I have some caffeine, I will make some breakfast. And my breakfast is very simple. I don't cook anything for breakfast because I wake up pretty early, like seven to eight is usually the time I wake up. And then I just wanna put something together. I don't wanna do any cooking because I'm usually not fully awake at that time. So I just make a super simple granola with almond milk, Situation. I'll show it to you guys now. It's honestly my favorite thing to eat in the morning and it's so good. I'll show it to you. All right, we have this granola with almond that I have all the time from Trader Joe's. You guys might think that I'm sponsored by Trader Joe's because I talk about them all the time, but I'm not. I just love Trader Joe's. I've been shopping, my family has been shopping at Trader Joe's my entire life. And so now I just shop there all the time because I love everything from there and just where I do all my grocery shopping. These are dried cranberries and then over here I have some almond milk and some cinnamon. So super simple, not cooking up anything. And so I just put the granola in here. I just love this mix. I just feel like it's such a good mix because you have the granola, which fills you up. You have the dried cranberries, which have this like great little sweetness to it. There's some ground cinnamon. And then I have a vanilla almond milk just the best ever. I crave this every morning because it's so good. I like to do a good amount of almond milk because granola really soaks up the liquid and it can get kind of dry if you don't. I'm just gonna let it sit for a second and then I'm gonna eat it. A bit wild for me. Good morning. Oh my God, it's starting. It's all starting. <laughs> it is lunchtime now. So I am going to be making these two different types of toasts that I've been loving recently. I've been eating this pretty much every day lately because I love it so much. One of them is a bruschetta and parmesan basil toast and the other one is avocado and red pepper and lemon and they are so good and it's very breakfasty I feel like but I eat it around like 11 or 12 usually and I love it. So it just depends on how hungry you are. Sometimes I just do one toast and I cut it in half and then sometimes if I'm really hungry, I will cut two pieces of toast in half and have both because sometimes I'm hungrier than other times. So I'm only gonna use one today to show you guys and because I'm not really that hungry right now, um, the granola really is holding me over right now. But I'm gonna first off come over here and use an avocado. I'm going to cut the avocado in half like so. I'm going to Pull out the seed, get that, oh yeah! Um, and then just, I honestly just usually squeeze the avocado out. It's super easy that way. I keep it super simple. You'll notice that I keep pretty much everything super simple. Squish the avocado. I love, love, love lemon pepper. I put lemon pepper on pretty much everything. I like to use some red pepper in there. Sprinkle that on, depending on how spicy you like it. Now cutting this lemon in half to squeeze a little bit into the avocado. So just getting rid of those seeds and then just do a little bit. And then you got your little like avocado mixture that we're gonna put on top of the toast once we toast up the toast. And then I'll put that off to the side and then I'm going to go toast this guy. We have a beautiful golden warm toast. By the way, I'm using this whole grain and flax bread. And I'm just going to cut right down the middle. And then I'm just gonna 
put some avocado in here and you'll normally have extra avocado especially if you have a large avocado that you're working with and you can always use it for like guac too i'm going to use some red pepper on top of this side and then i'm going to squeeze a little bit more lemon on here and then for this one so good this bruschetta you can actually, I use this bruschetta. There's also a bruschetta sauce in the refrigerated section at Trader Joe's, but both of them are great. And then I'm just going to grab the bruschetta, put it on here, and it's so good. It already has some basil in there, but I have basil that I, um, in a little plant, that I'm gonna put some fresh basil on top with the Parmesan. This is Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese mix. You can just use parm though and it will be so good. Um, but I like this little mixture. And I just place a little bit of cheese on there. And then I'm gonna run and grab some fresh basil real quick. And I'll just pick like some little leaves because it's a small little piece of toast. So I'll just grab these little guys. And then I'll want to just wash them off real quick. But having a basil plant like this is so nice because basil is so good in sandwiches, in breakfast. It just, oh, and it smells so good. But you have to put it somewhere in your house where there is uh, natural sunlight coming through. So I just put it by my window and I leave this open a little bit so that it will um, grow really nicely. And it, they grow, basil grows so fast if you water it every day and keep it in the sun. Just washed the basil and then I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it right over the top. So delicious. And then I like to do a little bit of lemon pepper on that side of that one. And then why not sprinkle it over on that one too? I love lemon pepper. So there you go. I love it because you get two different vibes. You get like an avocado toast that's kind of spicy and lemony. And then you get this like bruschetta with basil and parmesan. And it's just so good. I love it. Mmm. I took the fish out of the freezer this morning because I knew that that's what I was gonna have for dinner. This is tilapia. I put a little bit of coconut oil on the pan and I'm just gonna put the fish down on there. I'm using lemon pepper to season the fish. I keep it very simple, so just the coconut oil the lemon pepper and then I like to put a little bit of lemon on there too. I brought this pan to a boil and I'm just going to turn it down now so that it will be at about a medium to low heat. And I'm going to put an artichoke in there in just a moment. So I'm gonna have fish with artichoke. I usually love cayenne pepper on fish just a little bit but I just realized that I'm out of it so I'm just going to do a little bit of red pepper. I love spice. So I always put spice on everything, but um, a little bit of cayenne pepper on fish is amazing. But if you don't have it, red chili pepper works just as well. In between lunch and dinner, I always snack. And so I want to show you guys what my favorite snacks are. I love having these super sweet mini peppers in my refrigerator. You can get these any, at any grocery store, but they're so good because they're sweet, mostly sweet, but they have this underlining spice to them. But they're so good to just kind of like snack on throughout the day. Um, I love them. Another snack I like to have is chips and salsa. And my favorite chips and salsa are these organic stone blue corn tortilla chips with chia seeds and quinoa. And they're so good. They're like fluffy blue corn tortilla chips that are round like this. And they're so good. And I love them with salsa verde. Artichoke takes a little bit of time, at least 15 minutes and then you kind of just want to let it sit and cool off for a while. I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go, but I'm going to be having this fish. Look at that, oh my God, it looks so good. With the artichoke, I love the artichoke leaves with a little bit of butter or a little bit healthier, you can use the green salsa that I showed you guys earlier. That's super good. And the way that you know that the artichoke is done is if you pull a leaf off and it comes off pretty easily. This artichoke's not totally done, but I wanted to show you guys kind of what you do with it if you haven't had artichoke before. You just pull the leaf off and you kind of go, oh, look at that. And there's just artichoke meat on here that is so delicious. And you can have it with butter or you can have it with that green salsa that I showed you guys earlier. It's like a little chip. 
and you pull it off like that. There's tons of things that you can dip this in. A lot of people use different stuff. Um, some people do mayo, some people, I don't know, just a bunch of different stuff. But I like to keep it on a little bit of the healthier side, although butter, I don't know. But, you know, it's really good. Artichoke is delicious and it's like one of my favorite snacks. It just takes a little bit of time, but it's totally worth it. So I'm gonna go eat dinner. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and also make sure you guys are subscribed and I will see you guys very soon in a new video. I love you and I hope you're having the best day. Bye. Thank you.